Welcome back on this fabulous Wednesday. It's a WCW Woman Crush Monday, and you're wondering why I'm here. I'm here because I'm the biggest fan of women. And if you didn't know, I'm son of a woman, and I'm uh, called Sankara Kayesu because of something. I'll tell you the history behind my name, Sankara Kayesu. This is what I and this is why in the morning. And this particular segment is the talk of the day. It was posted there. Uh, the topic is the crazy things people do in the name of love. And I am not alone here. I cannot do it on my own because I've not done all those crazy things alone. Uh, I have people uh, with people who have done them, and most of them <laughs> are women. Uh, my name is Ankara Kayesu, and with me joining me for this uh, topic or for this conversation are two beautiful ladies. Coincidentally, both of them are from one region where love is in the air, especially for the ladies. <laughs> this is Grace. This is Grace and the, the other species. So this is Grace who? Maingi. Grace Maingi and Patience. Mutete. Somebody could told me you are called Patience Suzuku. <laughs> That's my Maji in Nigeria. Yeah. But both of you are going to tell us more about you, including your social media and also I, I think we should start with you, Grasa. <laughs> my name is Grace Maingi. I am, I am a journalist by profession. Mm -hmm. That's what I studied in school. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I am passionate about life. I am passionate about relationships. Mm -hmm. I am passionate about um, human rights. I am passionate about education. You will tell me uh, how passionate you are about relationship <laughs> and where you've reached with it. Uh, just in a few. Now your social media handles, please. Grasha Maingi on all social media platforms at Twitter at Grasha Maingi on uh, Facebook at Grasha Maingi mm. on uh, Instagram at Grasha Maingi. A Grasha with an E R at the end. Grasher. Man, Meskia, Msi misspell, Msiach, Msiach Vizuri. You are beautiful, I must admit. Thank you. Okay. Then we have uh, another beauty uh, on set with a suit and a gap between the teeth. <laughs> Tell us everything about you, Patience. Okay, thank you very much. My name is Patience Mutete. I'm an accountant by profession. Mm. Uh, I'm so passionate, again, uh, like my friend here, about uh, the young people. Oh, young people. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm into public speaking too much so I do a lot of public speaking and I write a lot I'm a content creator at the same time so on social media I am patient Suzuko oh so I got it right <laughs> <You're my laughs> but it's co it's not uh, K W O uh, it's a co was it a nickname you were given so you accepted yeah it I was something? given the name when I was in class five because I used to watch Waga so much <laughs> And, and they used to like the patient Suzuko. Yeah. At the same time that I got baptized, so they called me patient Suzuko. Are you the? Were you given this name after <laughs> you were baptized and uh, you adopted it and to change? Is it your mom who gave you this name? Okay, or? no. Uh, people used to tell me that I have the character, but exception, except one character. You know, patients used to hack. Uh, okay, up to date, yes. she hacks when she's uh, most of the time like a witch. Yes. That's the only <laughs> character that I don't have from patients. But I also think she acts like um, I love Oga so much. Uh, <laughs> I also think patients act like a wicked woman yes. all the time. Yeah, she's a wicked mother-in-law. She's a wicked stepmother. <laughs> yeah. She's just a wicked everything. Co a wicked co <laughs> A wicked that. everything. A mother-in-law. True. Okay, that is the only character that I don't possess from her. Uh, but uh, in real life, mm. Patience is a preacher. Are patience sure? is a guidance and counselor. Oh, oh, she's a preacher? Yes. Okay. She's a woman of God. Oh. So, and I've been... I'm happy you know so much about her. You've really... Yeah. Did, <laughs> you've done some research. Is, is she the person you really want to meet one-on-one? -on -one it's life? true. Uh, it's my prayer that uh, one day, one time, I've been to Nigeria. Just mm. want to see her. Okay, if you are going to tag her when we upload this, you are going to tag her in this so that she can watch and plan to meet you. She can plan it better than me. And I have a feeling that you are in her own profession. I don't know, I don't see how how accountancy comes in with because all the accountants I know 
are people who are introverts. They don't talk too much. They are just mm -hmm, they are just people of transactions, of balancing the figures, of paying. They don't talk a lot, but you seem to be an opposite of that. Exactly, <laughs> and I love the character. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah, the Mutete, the, the second name I possess from my grandma, mm. uh, she used to be very talkative. Mm. For me, it's a profession. Are you talkative by profession? Uh, as in, <laughs> I, I don't say like by profession, I'm saying uh, accountancy is my profession, right? Yes, yes. But uh, being talkative, it's me, are, it's part of me. It's your part time hobby. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. full time, it's not bad time. If we start talking about you, uh -huh. we will spend the whole day talking yeah, about you. There are so many things to talk about, the two of you. Mm. Yeah, because I tell you, Grasha, there's how, there's how yesterday as I was calling her to inform her about this show, she nearly collapsed for me. <laughs> Don't remind me. But that story for another day. Today we are going to talk about the things that people do in the name of love. The crazy things that people do in the name of love. I have quite a little, uh, uh, a number that I've seen. And um, you, you, you are going to tell us, we are going to discuss it in, at depth. Every point at depth on uh, what I have in record people have done in the name of love. You're also going to tell me the things you've seen or you've experienced yourself. But first, we are going on a short break. So this is on the other side of the break. Don't touch that dial. Welcome back. So before we took this break, we were talking about the crazy things that people have done in the name of love. And we are going to start with your experiences, like personal experiences. Let's start with you, Grace. Uh, have you ever fallen in love? Let's ask that. Yes. Oh, is there anything crazy you've done uh, for love? Or um, let's say while in love, while in love, or maybe if uh, something bad has happened, so the love is breaking or something. Give us your experience. Wow, I think I have done quite a lot of things, a lot uh -huh. of crazy things. Are you a drama queen? <laughs> <laughs> I don't love a I have one person, yeah. when I love, I love passionately. Okay. I don't know how to love half half. Uh, I love in out. Mm. I am um, I give my all. Mm. I give until there's nothing left to give. Eish. And I think the I, I think one of the mistakes I will admit to having done is giving too much until there's nothing more left to give. Mm -hmm. Giving that the other person a lot of things until there's nothing more left to give mm -hmm. you. I didn't love myself enough not to, to know where my boundaries uh, began and where they ended. So one of the things I did, um, one of the crazy things I will say, um, pr probably think like Mbuka Junili Chapo Asana na Mamangu. It was on a Sunday and I was here, I was in love. It was, um, it was I think, some years back before I went to uni. Mm -hmm. and uh, And I... It was on a Sunday, we were supposed to go to church, and then your time, you were were these satin dresses. It was for a wedding, and I was feeling, so I said, go, shall go. And then the, the, the boyfriend I was dating that time, I said, go, we, we came from the same area called. So I, to number 20, shall go to the church, and then there's a kibarabara, you got to a pita, kichochoro. Then I knew I had a date with this boyfriend mm -hmm. after church, and mm -hmm. I thought to nenda your church, yao. Mm -hmm. Kumbe, my parents, um, we're going to another church. So in Africa, so we mean, oh, me, I'm not going, I can't go. Iyo barabara ita ni aribia nguo, ni 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 meji angusha, chiri ni me roll kwa floor. And I'm, and I'm actually big, I'm, I was actually in my teenage years. So I was telling my mother, I'm not going, ayi nguo yangu ni mpia. So my mother was like, zunguka barabara ukujutu pate tunakungweja the other side. Si umesema hapa ni short, ii yeah. ita kwaribia nguo. Just go round. Ukaronda hii the same go wenye resema itaribika. Hey, yo, sasa sila jifanya. Hey, you're throwing tantrums. Yes, I'm throwing tantrums. Yeah. So that they say, ah, when are you chatting? Yeah. When are you chatting? So I'm like, yo, njeni refu, yo church ni mbali, mimi ni mechoka, itani aribia nguo. <laughs> so she tells me, zunguka main road, ukujo tupate isa idingine, yeah. if you yeah. don't want the shortcut. Yeah. So mina zunguka main road, and they went to the other church. So I didn't go to the, to the church. Walingoja forever. Walingoja forever. So jioni ni merudi mamangu wa moto. Yeah, yeah, my mom was super mad. I was caned. I can't, for, I can't forget. Then my mother had a way of caning us. You kneel down, you lift your hands, and then you tell her, um, 
she she starts reading bible verses my mom is a pastor mm. so she starts reading bible verses she tells you what does this verse say about children who are not obedient okay spoil spare the rod and spoil the child mm -hmm. okay so if i am beating you what am i beating the mistakes so how many vibokos <laughs> should i give you i'm like two she's like two is too little for that disobedience <laughs> Nilio Joshua wo. Ay yeah yeah yeah. Majirani walikuja kuomba kugonga mlango. Unafanyia nini mtoto? But yeah, I've never forgotten that one. Ay, did you break up with this man? Eventually I did. Sasa kwanza hiyo siku tena hiyo that that was on a Sunday. Mm. The after nimechapwa Sunday mm. sijasikia Tuesday nikatumwa maini. Mm. Kwenda kwa soko mimi nikaenda kwao. Nikaenda nikaoverstay maini kaisha. So narudi jioni nilitumwa saa tisa narudi kwetu saa moja. E, na bila wala, maini. Na bila maini. Ma, na saa hiyo maini ni ya kupikia mtu mgonjwa. Alikuwa ametisha maini. Ah. Mama angu alinikula uo. Aliniambia nimekwambia kijana mwachana usiki. That do you blame that do you blame that for for maybe being a being a child or maybe you are ken because you are being a child. Yes. So the love was taking you too crazy. Yes. Uh, I moment. think I think at that time yes. it was I think that was the first person I was ever in love with. Yes. So I'm thinking uh it was everything I thought a relationship was oh. supposed to be. Okay. You sacrifice even the non-sacrificial I, 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 I want you to react to her story <laughs> when you tell us your story in case you have one uh, patience. Okay, for Gracie, I think uh, she did it because she was young and she was not understanding our, herself. And again, she didn't know all about what is love. Mm. She was just falling because out of people's, mm -hmm. uh, l let's say, talks or, you know, most of we young people fall in love because uh, you have had some stories from some friends, you know, uh, this is the yeah. experience that I experienced, so you feel you want to experience the same. At this time, you are so blind <laughs> to an extent that even you can't even listen to your parents. Yes. You're so blind. Even you, are, you have that uh, guards to just stand before the parents and we're like, hey, si mi e. so what, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a secret only. Yeah. It's a secret, it's uh, <laughs> but uh, you also want to, like, the, you don't want them to know, but you really love Love, eh? Yeah. Eh. So, for extent. So, it, it, we say love is blind, but love also blindens. Uh. <laughs> love make people blind, and it's also blind. It's true. Its blindness is contagious. <laughs> 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 okay, do you have a story, patience? Okay, for me, for my side, um, I used to be that strict girl when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. And uh, your mother is a teacher. Yes. It's really that you get into such. Wow. So it happened when I got the like, freedom when I was joining the campus. At the time now I started relationship things and everything. So mine I think I started when at least I'm a bit sober. But uh, I had a different experience from uh, Just a, <laughs> a small break. Are you saying that you first fell in love when at campus? You were first ever? Yeah, wow. at campus. Is it right? At campus. <laughs> Direct <laughs> opposite of this country. You fell in love in primary, <laughs> in primary, but you can go on. Uh -huh. Yeah, so in primary high school, I used to be that strict. I'm like, uh, when you fall in love, you're wasting yourself, you know, you won't get to that room, <laughs> that dream girl, you know, you won't get to campus. So uh, I decided, I was a bit sober in campus, so that is the time I can say I fall in love like seriously and then uh, okay i didn't know much about love but uh, i found myself into that so the experience that i experienced is that um, there's one day that uh, i used to date somebody who is working at the same time he got first year you know and then uh, the guy oh. <laughs> uh sometimes you know i'm so much uh, like gracie the way she said i think i also have the same character when i get to love i'm like Sini mimi peke yangu, you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. <laughs> i really want that consideration mm -hmm. like, okay i'll follow like you know mm -hmm. uh, what are you doing i'm also asleep so it means there's somebody else who you know, so that is crazy me. So it happens sometimes. Uh, like uh, that time I was staying with my hand, I'm like, Nikakua road. Munu na nikazia. Every weekend I'm supposed to go and see my boyfriend, you know. <laughs> and then uh, I 
I went, um, ikafika to an extent that I had to tell my mom like, uh, okay, ikakuwa so worse to an extent because every weekend, every Friday, inaenda, naenda, naenda, kwake, nini, nini. Una spend uko Friday? Eh, na, oh, una, class, like the whole weekend uko uko. Niko uko. Una so, Sunday, Johnny. Yeah, I'm a uh, uh, Monday. So, <laughs> so it happened. <laughs> Just, I didn't have a jacket. <laughs> So ni kabayake and then inside her, yeah. ilikuwa na receipt so the guy used to take alcohol you know na iko na receipt is a clubbing mm. so my auntie one Were day clubbing with him uh, not most of the times mm. it's just rarely and then akatoa receipt as alikuwa anafua nguo then auntie yako yeah and then mm. akapiga picha akatumia mamango do you know what patience has been spent every time in campus Kwa club, she's not reading and everything. Now I decided, I decided to be crazy. Because now I cannot lose everything. You know, I lose staying with my auntie. Again, I lose like, respect kwa parents. You know, mm. they used to know mm. this the girl, you know. Mm. Okay, fine. Nimekuwa club. Hey, you were dating? Yes. So, you know. Kaenda kaki I'm like, it's okay. So... And then um, that time ni kapata guards, then my sister, my late sister, sorry, so I can each kwa kinda kwenda kuka kwa You know, now I have freedom. Yes. Freedom to move mm. and everything. Mm. So uh at time uh ilifika then um Nika, like, we can't in a spend uko. The, 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 the guy used to stay with like, a brother inside the house. So, uh, akienda job, akanya, one day, akanya chia pesa. <laughs> then akanya mbia, hii pesa, by Johnny, upatia brother ngo because alikuwa naenda ku, it's what, ku watch game and everything. So, you know, ile kazi ya kufanya kazi si yako, you oh. are not a wife, but oh. you are cooking for that man. You are ironing clothes and everything, you know? <laughs> they are called... They call it <laughs> village <laughs> proverbs, you know? <laughs> 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 they call it performing wife duties. Yeah. duties yeah. And, mm -hmm. You know, they, they call it pre, uh, village proverbs because mm -hmm. you are doing them and this man will never marry you. So <laughs> I'm like, so you this idea to tour these carpets, you know, and then uh, ni songeshe, I change things, you know, I'm so passionate about interior design and uh, uh, decorations mm. and how, f as in designing. Yes, yeah, design so yes. I was doing, that guy was like, ah, see where you could say, like, you know, mm. it, it was so rude to me. And then decided, by Gioni, I will not, as in, sit and party a pesa, because I couldn't say, dear, nearly chock up a kyang. Time me a quenda game, see, come party a pesa. And then that time, nearly quabado, Nico Palina and Katiwa with another guy, yeah. you know? Yeah. <laughs> so I said, because this guy is coming home late, lazima ni toke ni kaone the other guy. Mm. So ni katoka, and then the kaboe, haka ni fuata nyuma. So place to likuwa, like to make her, haka pigia picture, and then he sent to the brother. Then I came home. Then Nico like, oh, the, today is weekend, let me do chapatis, you know, he like it and everything. Oh, I'm there cooking. Kimaliza kupika na ongoja mzea fike. Today, no hug, you know, that time it was, you know, these little guys, huh? they are sweet. Oh, it was my brother. And they were the hands. So, <laughs> and Africa, I'm like, the Angali words, they call me Leo. Ni mekua the, the, the what? in the house mm -hmm. kumbe he is akona, akona picture evidence. akona evidence yes. akona picture akona adi you know and then me i thought maybe he's angry because i didn't even give uh, the, the, money. the money yes. to the brother yes. so <laughs> i i didn't know that oh, that was the end of this relationship did it just end that way? hey was that the last day okay uh, i can say that is the last day that i saw that guy yes. because uh, after that I was like, what? You fought, you physically fought? Yes, I chapo. I'm like, what did I? I'm rich, I'm everything, you know? <laughs> Even sometimes when you see girls walk out of relationship that men have a lot of money, I'm like, oh, it's normal. It's not all about money, you know? Because the guy had it all. Yes. Why am I even going in jail, you know? Yeah. There's that kind of extra attention and then you want to explore. You know, you are young. Okay, like, ah, see Especially you who started late in life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not so many girls start at campus. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. what I advise my sisters to do. Uh -huh. 
But it's not always practical. <laughs> they, they, they start experiencing really as, gra as grace. Did. <laughs> it works. <laughs> it, it works. The, 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 no, the, the, like uh, Kwonja before your time comes. I don't know what creates anxiety in you girls so that you start, you want to explore as early as, mm -hmm. as primary school. Mm -hmm. Which is very wrong, which is wrong, yes. but it's life. Yes. Now, uh, you've talked about something called attention. Grace also talked about it a little, that it reaches a time when girls want 100% of their men's attention. How, how, what, do you think he has other things to do? Uh, don't you think he has other things to do? That is another crazy thing. Um, can you see if I can respond to that? Yes, you have other things to do but I should be in your to-do list. Uh -huh. I should not be, if you claim to love me, I believe that we make time for the valuable. Yes. If something is valuable to you, you'll make time, no matter how much pressed you are. Me usually say, you have two seconds. It doesn't take a minute to send, good morning, babe. I have a busy or a crazy day today. Know that I love you or something like that. Mm. It won't take you 30 seconds, mm. surely. Just even if you've had a long day, I'm not saying have your attention 100% because again, come on, if, if, if you're giving me 100% attention the whole day, una dunini na life yeah. yako, don't you have mm. anini? Don't you have a vision? But don't you have something you want you're pursuing? That 100%. No, personally, I don't. Mm. Personally, I would want what I call, cal what I call calculated attention. Mm. Calculated attention is whereby I don't feel neglected. But I also don't feel like you're too much on my case because I'm a busy woman. Mm -hmm. So I don't feel like you're neglecting me. I don't feel like you're too you're, you're, you're too much on my case. But I feel cared for. I just feel the wanted. morning, morning, I love you. Yes, I I or just but call somebody said that uh, when nilikuwa na kukatia, nilikuwa mbia I love you. Ah. Before ni seme, before ni seme, now I don't love you. Mm -hmm. Si tumia tuyo ya kwanza hiyo ni kambia anga. Te ya kwanza, tumia anga no, tujue. No. Aja niambia, aliniambia anga na ananipenda, but mm -hmm. aja niambia adhao, I see, but what women, happened? Women are affectionate beings. Mm. Yeah. We thrive in, I don't know, I stand to be corrected, mm -hmm. probably she'll say what she thinks, mm -hmm. but we thrive in affection, we thrive in hearing that word from you, you mm -hmm. know, telling me you look beautiful, mm -hmm. I love you, mm -hmm. we thrive in that. When you thrive in respect, women thrrive. Women but there are so many people who tell you I love you. What mm -hmm. do you think, Precious? There are so many people, not I love you, but you're beautiful. Mm -hmm. When you come to work like it, both of you are beautiful today. I didn't expect, I know where you come from. Where you come from, girls are beautiful and flowers like this. Mm -hmm. So you are automatically beautiful. Must I tell you are beautiful? See, anybody can tell you from the office. And all uh, yeah, it's true. Uh, uh, the, the word from uh, somebody from office and somebody that to love, it's so much different, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, this one uh, feels like uh, I've been appreciated by yes. the people I'm working, yes. but it has a different weight mm. when somebody I'm in love with is telling me so. Because let's say in the morning, I pick a picture and then I can be, oh God, babe, you look good on this suit, yes. you know? In the, that different thing, I can feel, I will feel than. Uh, at a peer work studio, can you be like a typical smart? You touch quite too, like it's all, it's normal for somebody to tell me from outside, but inside the house, it's your main person. Okay, I, I, I accept going forward. I'm going to say that to my. <laughs> <laughs> It's a learning session, so I'm also learning. There's one thing here I want us to talk about. Mm -hmm. As I was uh, doing my studies, I found out that what girls do, sometimes maybe when they are a bit well off, uh, the crazy thing is spending on their men. They can sell everything. There's a lady who sold everything, everything to spend on, on, on her man, mm -hmm. uh, to a point that she didn't have uh, money to sustain herself and yeah, she she became broke it, it has happened there's a story of a lady who took loans she was an engineer it's something in the public domain of uh, she was engineer at Kenya Power then she started dating some media personality mm -hmm. uh, that the media personality then she started taking loans it's like this guy really wanted a lot of money so she, she spent all her savings on this man mm -hmm. and then started taking loans for this man. 
she exhausted all her credit availability to an extent that now she was borrowing from relatives, from relative to relative, relative to relative, to fund this man until she had debts of all the relatives she could get debts from. Mm -hmm. And she ended up dying. She died. Yes. The case of, wow. uh, I don't want to say, but she, he was a very prominent uh, TV personnel. Yeah. Uh, do you love too much to an extent that you are willing to spend all your resources on a man? To respond to that, I can say no, because uh, that is madness. That is what I can call, uh, you know, madness. She does it in the name of love. She says, I love him. <laughs> Anything he wants, I can give. Can yeah. you? Uh, I'm saying uh, so many people fall in love when uh, one time they're not sober, they're not understanding themselves. Because I don't understand how in life you, you still have things to do, your accounts still remain your accounts. You know, when you run broke, there's nobody who will come to, for you in that house, I'm telling you. Even the same man. You know, most of the men are not looking, okay, men come to women's life for two purposes either love, or for sex. And then when you fall for one, that one is going to ruin you. And uh, not uh, most of the m young ladies, they are not understand, even uh, not young, even uh, most of the ladies are not understand that uh, most of the time men need stability. They, do, uh, they don't even want uh, to know whatever you can give back. But are you stable enough to an extent? Uh, it's not financially. Are you stable enough? Today, if uh, uh, I'm leaving for work or anything, Am I having somebody in the house to take care of me? Yeah. Or am I in the house f having somebody who can love and care for my kids? Yeah. And you find that uh, uh, most of the ladies, uh, when I think to an extent that, that uh, if today I give you money, I believe that uh, utaka. Yeah. You know, if um, men know what they want, yeah. I can give you her everything that I, I, I have and you still go for another lady. Yes. You know? It happens. Yeah. Yeah, it happens. It, it's normal, you know? <laughs> Even this one went for another lady. So I don't know. Maybe maybe this is why the other lady died. People assume that she died because of uh, maybe the overwhelming debts and loans. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but people say that maybe after all that spending and plunging this lady into debt, mm -hmm. the man still went for another lady. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think, beauty? A man, a man will always get what he wants. Yes. It, if, it, if he doesn't want this, he won't get it. Mm. it I think men are very logical. Mm. And, and, and when we love from the heart, they yes. love from the mind. Mm. And um, it's unfortunate that at times men take love as projects, mm -hmm. you know? Projects? Yes. Mm. Projects, explain, <laughs> explain. <laughs> projects in the sense that, Sissy, um, there's, a, there's one, one wise man who said what? Men, um, the um, a man's mind is put into divided into boxes mm. where you have a box here finances, a box here relationship, a box here. You know, Akitaka story, a relationship, mm. attenda kwa your box, mm. he picks that specific mm -hmm. box, he opens it, you talk about that. When that is closed, he closes it, he moves on to another thing. Mm. But for us women, our minds are in webs. Oh. It's that's why you multitask. There. Yes. Mm. So for a man, I think most of the times men take relationships as a project. This is a project. The way you will take a project, I need to invest in money, I need to invest in resources, things like that. They take a relationship. That's my take. It's not cast on stone. Can you spend on a man? Yes, I can. How much? As much as is needed, but oh. not stupidly. You said that you delve in love, like, uh, you see how sometimes flies get into hot soup or <laughs> into tea? Yeah. You say you get into love that way. Yes. If I want to break it, I am saying that I am too stressed to love you. You know how we get money from men, mm -hmm. from ladies? We, we men, how do you get money from ladies? I know you love me so much, so one day you'll just get me somewhere. Stress, I don't want to talk. So you'll start asking me, what's wrong, baby? Uh, what is it? I tell you... I'm just stressed. There is a debt that is weighing me down. I need to send some money to my dad, but I don't have it. So I'm really off the moods. You know, if you love, if you have money, you will give it to me. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I can be persistent on this until you get drained to zero. Now that's why you say that a woman needs to be 
you need you don't I, I, I usually say you don't fall in love blindly when you close your one eye oh. make sure your other is open so that's what i used to do when i was younger but now i know better when i fall in love right now i don't fall in love blindly i close my one eye and the other one is open had you crazily spent on your man at a point uh yes okay not crazily because i spent quite an amount uh. but it wasn't crazy the same man when you only angukia no 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 oh, no um, <laughs> <laughs> that was first crash or first love or whatever but yeah, I ah, spent on a man. Uh, where may I spend? Uh? Yeah, I can say. I can't deny. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Where are these ladies? Why, why am I not getting such ladies? These ladies who can spend on <laughs> I, think, I think the problem right now is that feminism is spoiling relationships. Yes. I am not a feminist. I'm sorry to the feminists. Mm. Feminism is spoiling relationships in that it's teaching women to be independent. Mm. Oh, anakutisha pesa kwa nini si ajishughulikie, you know. Mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. value and virtue of sacred relationships and marriages is getting lost slowly by slowly. Mm. So no maana utaona mwanaume anateseka but then this woman is like, "Oh, hata yeye aji 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 mipe mimi na tafuta yangu pia yes. tafuta yake yes. you know my money is mine his money is ours that's what they say Old, um, there's another one of quitting job like he tells you i need the whole of you here let me just work wewe kwa hapa wewe kwa to hapa for me you make the home you be my wife here there's no need of both of us working that is another thing that mostly happens especially to ladies you were take on this have you had such a scenario such a story of such a thing happening yeah it's common nowadays uh it's very common to so many people and um uh let's say most of the ladies are doing it out of threat you know and then uh, you find that men nowadays are like ukitoka huko nje utaonekana na wengine you know so i really want to fix their security yeah. Yeah. Uh, number two men want to do their own thing mm. so they are um, in their month like either like if i have this career woman outside there unajua hata kwa yule msi we can fight we can argue things but when she's an us uh wife there she has no power over me you know mm. and then they want to make you a lifetime beggar you know yes uh, in the house maybe from from my own perspective i can't uh, look at uh, how you have trained your career umengangana yako yote and then a man is going to fix you in the house